Guess what we're doing today? So today, you guys, we are making something that you have been begging us to do for a very long time. We are making hamburgers for dogs, which might sound simple, but we're gonna make it a little bit creative. We're not actually gonna use bread for buns. We're gonna use a sweet potato for a bun. It's going to be very interesting. We're very excited to see how these turn out and to see what the dogs think. As always, you guys, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications so you will always know when we put up new videos. There will also be links up in the cards and down below to all of our other treat videos if you would like to see all the other fun stuff we have made. Let's get to making hamburgers for dogs. How many of you can tell we got a new camera? It's interesting. I'm not used to it yet. Hopefully I did everything right and the focus works. We're gonna make some hamburgers for dogs. You guys have been asking us to do this for so long and we thought, you know what? It's time. Let's do this. The first thing we are going to do is make some hamburgers. Now we're not adding any seasoning. We're not adding anything to these burgers. We're not adding bread. I am using 96.4, so 96% lean ground beef. You can also use ground turkey or ground chicken. I am going to bake these. You could cook them in a pan, but I'm just going to bake them because it's going to be a little bit easier. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Memphis is like, wait, there's meats? Yeah, there's meats. Oh man. Kind of got... Well, you're not helping. How am I gonna put it on the tray if your face is right there? You're gonna get dog hair in your burgers. You're the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> you gotta get down though. Get down. Get the other paw. There you go, thank you. All right. So I actually have a little cup and I am going to flatten this burger out and then kind of cut burger shapes out of it. I thought that would be a little bit easier. We're going to use sweet potatoes as the bun. So basically what I want to do is I want to make sure that the burgers are a little bit bigger than the sweet potato is round. So whatever size sweet potatoes you get, you can make these all different sizes. You could do little tiny ones if you want. You could do great big ones if you want. You can really make them for any size dog you want. So I'm going to ball some of this up, make sure it's nice and pressed together just like a burger. And then I'm kind of going to flatten them with my hands, which that would probably work by itself. But then I am going to take my little glass and I'm just going to cut and make sure they are round. You kind of, you don't want them to be super thick. What? What? Oakley, you're gonna miss it. And then after you make sure they're round, you can kind of flatten them out a little bit more. Make sure you don't want any pieces too thick. But there, this is a burger for dogs. I feel like I should take a moment to say, if you are gonna make these for your dogs, remember this is a treat, not a meal replacement. But these have so much meat in them and so much vegetables. Uh, depending on how many times a day you feed your dogs, you're gonna wanna either feed them a little bit less for their breakfast or their dinner. My dogs get fed three times a day, so this is actually going to supplement their entire lunch. Also, for those raw feeders out there, um, you don't have to cook the burger. You could just feed it to them raw. We are gonna cook it, but my dogs have raw every once in a while as well. They're like, oh, is it raw hamburgers? Raw hamburgers, oh man. You got it, there you go. <laughs> Um, so you could do these as raw burgers, raw treats as well if you want. So with just over a pound of meat and the size burgers we're making, this, woo, this is how many we ended up with. Now I have the oven at 325. I'm going to bake them for around 20 minutes. So the next thing we are going to do, really, is prepare the buns. You could use mini slider buns if you really want to, but we thought we would try to use all dog friendly ingredients. So we're actually going to use a sweet potato. So right now I'm going to peel, wash and peel this sweet potato. So when you're picking your sweet potatoes for this, you wanna make sure to pick some pretty thick ones if you're using them for dogs our size. Hey, I have to cut that now. You have to back up because I'm gonna cut it. And you can't be on the table while I'm cutting with a knife. You don't get it first, Shelby does. Shelby likes sweet potatoes. How about you, Oakley? You like sweet potatoes? Oh man, see, patience. Patience is a virtue. So we're gonna cut these not super thin, probably about a quarter of an inch thick. Yeah, around that thickness or so, somewhere around there. So we're gonna cut them, kind of make them 
thick, a little bit thick so they can be like a bun. See, this will be the top and the bottom of the bun. Make sure you have enough for however many burgers you're gonna make. I think we've got enough here. But now, sweet potatoes are kinda, you know, they're kinda snappy. They're kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tough, they're kinda tough. So I'm actually going to drop these in a pan of boiling water and boil them for about 10 minutes, just to soften them slightly. You don't want them to be super mushy. You just want them to be cooked a little bit. So we're gonna go do that right now. So a burger just isn't a burger without toppings. One of the things we're gonna add as toppings, since we don't really wanna give the dogs pickles, we're gonna do a couple cucumber slices on the top. I actually washed this cucumber really well and I'm actually gonna leave the skin right on it. What do you think? You think that sounds like a good plan? Memphis is like, yeah, as long as I get to eat it. Try it. Memphis will eat anything. Shelby. <laughs> Shelby spit it right out. Oakley, want to try a cucumber? And they're supposed to be pickle-like, so we're gonna slice them kind of thin. You wanna try a cucumber? Not you, this one. Wanna try it? She don't like it either. So we have some sliced up cucumbers, but now we need something red. We need something red. Oh, or purple, whatever. Sorry, turning my fingers purple. We're gonna use beets, but instead of leaving them sliced like this, I'm actually gonna smash them up and use them more like ketchup on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash these with a fork. I knew you would eat that. How about you? Eat it or we're gonna get purple everywhere. Oh, she ate it. What do you think, Shelby? Shelby, you might like it. Shelby ate a beet. So I'm gonna smash these up and we're gonna use it like ketchup on the top of the beets. And then the last thing we're gonna put on there is a little bit of rinsed baby spinach. Let's see, uh, let's just see what they think about spinach. Spinach? Oh, Shelby just took a leafy green. How about you? Oh my gosh, Oakley took a leafy green. One more. You can take it. They all ate the spinach. All right, so I just pulled them out of the oven. While they're still a little warm, we're gonna put a little bit of cheese on them. And we're gonna let them sit here and cool because we don't wanna burn the dog's mouths. So they're gonna sit here for a little bit and cool, let the cheese melt, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, so our little burgers are done and they're adorable. Look at how cute they are. Stop it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put them together. Somebody had dirty paw prints from being outside in the mud. We had, I don't know if you guys saw, if you watch our other channel, youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, we got like two feet of snow last week. So we still have snow and now the yard is turning to mud as all the snow is melting. While I'm talking about other channels, if you guys wanna see us make food for people, we recently made cheeseburger soup. Some new upcoming videos are maple bars. We're making chicken puffs, that's at youtube.com slash snowdogscooking. I will put a link to that down below. It's not a dog treat channel. We make people food, but the dogs are in the videos because you kind of can't get away from this when you're cooking in this house. <laughs> so our sweet potatoes are also done. See, they're a little bit not super firm, but they're also not really loose. So basically what we're gonna do is put down a bottom bun, bun, put a piece of the hamburger on top, we're gonna add two little pieces of cucumber because they will be like pickles. We're gonna add two pieces of spinach. We might be able to get away with one. I'm actually gonna pull the things off the end of it. Oh, I know, you guys super liked the spinach. So two little pieces of spinach. My light's off. I was wondering why it looked dark, my light's off. And then I smashed up the beets with a fork. We're gonna take and just put a little bit of the beets on top. This is kind of gonna hold everything together, hopefully. And then we are going to take one other piece of sweet potato and put it right on top. And you guys, we have done it. Hamburgers for dogs. How freaking fun is this? This is so cute. I have to take pictures of these. This is adorable. This is, I can't even guys, I can't, I can't even. This is so cute. Now you guys are gonna have to try them. Look how stinking cute those turned out. Okay, they're gonna go try them. <coughs> yeah, okay, here we go, ready? <gasps> You're gonna eat it before I even get a chance. <laughs> Shelby. Shelby's like, Bleh. I don't want no, I don't want no sweet potato. I don't want all this other stuff. Really? 
right to the burger. Forget all the other stuff. She's like, I don't want no sweet potato. I don't. So you wanted a plain burger with just cheese? Is that is that the deal? Yep. Shelby's like, I would have ate it plain. Oh, she ate that sweet. Well, no, maybe not. No, no. I was talking to you guys about the snow. That's how much snow we have left. Good stuff? Yeah, I figured she wouldn't eat all of it, but hey, at least she ate most of it. Okay, here you go. I know you're gonna eat all of it. Oh, she ate the top. She ate some spinach. She's eating the burger. I think she ate one of the cucumbers already as well. And a spinach. Oh, she left the spinach, going for the cucumber. And ate the spinach. You're a riot. She's like, I ate it all. Can I have some more? <laughs> all right, Miss Oakley's turn. I think she'll eat all of it. Oh, she threw the, threw the sweet potato off, spit out a cucumber, straight for the burger. Memphis might be the only one that eats the whole thing. Let's see, cucumber? No. Sweet potato? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe? See that bottom sweet potato? Oh, cucumber? Yep, she ate a cucumber. The bottom sweet potato had a little bit of the juice from the burger on it, so. Oh, she spit it out! <laughs> Just the burger, huh? All right, you guys, well, there you have it. Something you guys have been asking us to make for a very long time. Hamburgers for dogs. Memphis is going to clean up the stuff that Oakley left over. Uh, if you have suggestions of what you want to see us make next on this channel, leave them down in the comments below. I kind of keep a list of all the fun things that you guys put down there and try to figure out ways to make them. I do have tacos on the list and I do have lasagna on the list. So maybe one day we'll be able to do that. So keep on giving those suggestions and maybe one day we will make something you suggested. All right, you guys, as always, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience. Hopefully this, so you guys saw the Easter egg hunt video. We didn't have all that snow. We have a lot of snow again. <laughs> oh, Northern Michigan. Goodbye, guys.